Alright, hey YouTube. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get a Game Boy Color and a game, regular Game Boy emulator for your Nintendo DS. So, the first thing you want to do is go to the link in the description. It'll take you to download.qj.net and just go ahead and click on the Lame Boy, the one that has 8,000 something, 600 something downloads, probably more now that you're watching the video. But, anyways, just go ahead and click on that and it will take you to this page right here and um it's lame boy ds vo point 10 my bad and down here uh if you encounter the pop-ups just click close but uh down here it says some of the things that have been changed some of the things that have been updated and some of the things that have been added now the pop-up but anyway just go ahead and click download and the reason i'm showing you guys this emulator is because we all know that was the downfall of the nintendo ds well, my opinion, anyways, is that it did not support Game Boy and Game Boy Color Raw. I mean, cartridges, which it should have. But go ahead and click save. And it should download instantaneously. Yeah, but go ahead and open that up. And you don't need all three of these. You only need the laneboy.nds file. And go ahead and plug your micro SD card up. Wait for it to open. There we go. Okay. All right. Now, uh, go into your uh, games folder in the NDS right here. The games. And drag and drop the dot NDS file. You don't have to drag and drop all of them. Uh, because I see it's a change log and a readme, which I have no idea what the, what they do. You probably open them within the game itself. But that right there, that's all you need. Just that file right there. You can delete the change log and readme later. But go ahead and right click and make a new folder on the root of your micro SD card called, uh, ROMs or Game Boy ROMs or GBA, I mean not GBA, but GBC or GB ROMs or whatever you name it. But for just video, I'm just going to name it ROMs. Now, you guys want to go ahead and go to the very bottom of this description and go to those links and it'll take you to the site where you, sites where you can actually get some ROMs. Um, I already have ROMs on my computer, so I'm just opening, dragging, and drop uh, Game Boy Color. And a few Game Boy ROMs. Alright, now just close it out and let's go over to Nintendo DS and show you guys what they do from there. Alright, now that you're here at the Nintendo DS, go ahead and hit Games. And you can go ahead and get to your games folder. And you should see any folders that are on the root of your memory strip right here on this menu. But go ahead and go to your games folder and select the lameboy.nds and the little icon on the Nintendo DS looks like a uh, the regular the first Game Boy ever the first GB in create a save file for it and then you should see this menu and it, this right here shows you everything on the root of your memory stick and you guys want to go ahead and select the uh, folder that you put your ROMs in which in my case was a folder I named ROMs And you should see any Game Boy or Game Boy Color ROMs that you put in there. I'm going to go ahead and select Atlantis. The first, where is it at? Here it is. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and select Atlantis because this is one of the ones that mess up. And I'm just going to show you guys uh, some of the glitches that are still with it. And this is still the best because I've been through them all. Let's see, wait for it a little bit. Yeah, I've been through almost all the emulators that I could find from Nintendo DS, and this is the best one by far. You see that right there? That is the press start menu. It's glitching really badly for whatever reason. It freezes, but you can still press start, and it'll still take you to where you want to go. But, see, another menu, start new game, or something. But yeah. And if you guys can't hear the sound, I'm sorry. For whatever reason, my camera did not record the sound with this one. I don't know why. But, yeah. And Y zooms in and zooms out. 
just regular Game Boy or zoomed up to the Nintendo DS screen size. And actually, that black line around the screen, some ROMs actually have pictures around there. But, uh, yeah. Just hit L and R to go through the menus to exit. I mean, just, yeah, until you get to an exit menu or a uh, save state menu, like right here, exit. Select, so uh, hold on, let me get a pin out. Select slot none, exit without save, reset, exit, and when you hit exit, it'll actually take you back to uh, another ROM. And right now, I just loaded up Pokemon Blue for the original Game Boy, which, in my opinion, was not the best Pokemon game ever. It was kind of really one of the worst. But yeah, that's how you do that. Um, thank you. And as you can see, yeah, before I leave, before I uh, end this video, as you can see, the blue around where the uh, uh, the Atlantis ROM was black. Some ROMs actually really do have uh, the pictures around them, which is kind of weird. But yeah, but yeah, that's how you guys do that. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment.